Good days and gentlemen, welcome once again to D Tutor Home and I'm your humble host, Uncle D. Today we are going to be considering this particular topic in physics, hence is our physics special edition. And we have a question before us. We are given that an object of 40 cm is placed in front of a concave mirror of focal length 15 cm away. Calculate the linear image position and linear magnification. For please, before you note that, you should also note that, know that this question is on the basis of concave mirror. Hence, we know that there are two types of mirror, which is concave mirror. Concave mirror. We have the concave mirror and the convex mirror. Now, in concave mirror, our focal length is positive, our image position is positive, while in convex mirror, our focal length is neg negative and our image position is also negative. So, please take note for the particular question or the particular mirror you are giving in your the question. But well, uh, regarding this question, we are basing our conclusion on the concave mirror. So we are dealing with the positive focal length and the positive image distance. And we know that our mirror formula is 1 over f is equal to 1 over v plus 1 over u. Please, since we are looking for the position of the of the image, so that we are looking for v, the position of the image, so we are going to make 1 over v sort of formula. If we do that, we have 1 over v is equal to 1 over f minus 1 over u. So you just take lightness and 1 of plus 1 over u will cross the quarter and becomes negative 1 over u. And we have 1 over v is equals to 1 over the focal length, which is 15, plus minus the uh, image uh, image position, uh, the object position, which is 1 over 40. So we look at the LACM of 15 and 40. And if you do that, LACM of 15 and 14 is 600. So 15 going to 600 is 40, 40 times 1 is 40, plus 40 going to this, uh, into, uh, into 600 is 15, 15 times 1 is 15. And if we do that, we are going to have uh, this minus, if minus we do that, we are going to have 40 minus 15, that will give us our 25 over 600. Don't forget, we are looking for V, not 1 over V. Since 1 over V is equal to 25 over 600, so we just reciprocate, and V will be equal to 600 over 25. And if we do that, we are going to have uh, 24 cm cube. Cm. So our image position is 24 cm. Now, recall that the magnification is equal to V over U. Simply 24 divided by the U, which is our uh, 40, uh, we will have the magnification to become what? 0 0.6. So our 0 0.6 is our magnification, then 40, 24 cm is our image position. I'll provide it again. The formula started from 1 over F equals to 1 over V plus 1 over U. And regarding to concave mirror since the question is given to us in concave mirror so we are using this if it was convex here would have become negative and here would have become negative so we make one over v sort of formula since we are looking for the linear image position and if we do that we have one over v is equal to one over 15 minus one over 40 and um, 15 going to 600 at least same of 15 and 40 is 600 15 going to 600 is 40 40 times 1 is 40 minus 50 40 going to 600 is 15, 15 times 1 is 15. So 40 minus 15 will have 25 over 600. See, this will be this is 1 over V is equal to 25 over 600. So to get V, we just turn upside down, reciprocate, and we'll have 600 over 25. 600 over 25. 25 going to 600, we have 24 cm. So this is our position, image position. Then we know the magnification, which is number two question we are asked to solve. Magnification is equal to V. That is object image distance over object distance, which is V over U. And we're going to have 24 over 40, which was given the question. If you divide it, we're going to have 0 0.6. So this is our magnification. This is our ob image, uh, or, uh, image distance. Please don't forget, this is D Tutor Home. I am your humble host, Uncle D. Please, if you have any questions regarding this solving, 
drop it at the comment box and don't forget if you have not yet is our a subscriber, subscriber to our channel please do subscribe so that you'll be notified when next we drop questions regarding physics chemistry and mathematics thank you and god bless